Good morning, everybody. It's good to have you all on board, whether you're at home or at school. We're glad you're here. Glad you're ready to get into this term's learning. I guess I'll take this off, eh? It's a bit hard. It's fogging up my glasses. Welcome. Welcome. We're ready to get into good learning and hopefully the lockdown will finish very, very soon and we'll be able to get back to normal classes because we want you to be back here at school. OK, we want that to happen as soon as possible. Well, it's been an interesting weekend. Uh, the Olympics have started and so I thought I might make a couple of little comments because Olympics 2021, even though they're saying it's the Olympics 2020. But uh, it was great to see the opening ceremony and wonderful to see the Australian team let out, all let out. And there we have uh, Paddy Mills, and he's a great basketball player, plays with the Australian uh, basketball team. And there is also Kate Campbell. Both of those are holding the Australian flag high and strong and waving it in the opening ceremony. That was on Saturday night. It was very exciting. And there's the team all coming out and they've all got their masks on. But we've got a couple of interesting stories about the Olympics, a few personal stories like uh, we know Kate Campbell there holding the flag and her sister Bronte. We don't know them well, but my daughter-in-law, Roshni, Roshni married my son, Joel, and uh, my daughter-in-law knows them very, very well. In fact, um, yesterday, Kate won with the uh, other three girls, won the, um, uh, the four by 100 uh, meter relay, and they won the gold medal for Australia, and they broke a world record. So that's really great. And my daughter-in-law, Roshni, she rang Kate on the phone after the race to congratulate her. And uh, Kate said, oh, I can't talk to you now. I'm just doing my drug test. And so anyway, we, so it's, it's lovely to know somebody in the Olympics. It really is good. And there's Kate. She's the taller one. And Bronte, she's the shorter one and younger of the Bronte of the Campbell sisters. And uh, they're both Christian girls. And they uh, were at Roshni and Joel's wedding. Uh, that was... Uh, just over a year or so ago. So um, yeah, it's so great to see people we know in the Olympics and doing well. So that's fantastic. But I've got a special connection for you as well. An Australian Christian College student is also in the Olympics and he swam last night. Now, my son Joel has done a lot of video interviews uh, for uh, the Australian Christian Colleges all over Australia. There are 10 schools in five states. And my son Joel had done a lot of those videos. And believe it or not, about eight years ago, he did one for Isaac Cooper, who's just a little guy. He was about 10 years old. And so I want to share that video with you. Uh, this was taken by my son Joel of Isaac Cooper in Queensland and he's at he was at Australian Christian College doing his work by distance education so he could do all of his swimming training. So here's a video for you to enjoy. Well, I'd usually get up at about 4.30. It's usually a hesitation because you don't really want to get out of bed so early. But then you think, well, if I do this, I can try to get to a high level, get to the nationals, get to the Pan Pacific, get to the Olympics. This was eight years ago, remember? When I made the state championships, I got four gold medals, two Queensland records, and age champion. So that was really exciting when I got all that. And when I heard I'm going to go to the Nationals, that just really made me happy. When 
do distance education. You don't have to hop out early for, from training to get dressed and have breakfast and go to school. And I can finish my schoolwork and go in the afternoon to swimming without having to worry about, oh no, I've got to do my homework when I get home. When I'm on the blocks in a race, I think, come on, win, you swim fast so you can win this race. And I also have a prayer to God and say, help me for all this. Thank you for helping me to get to this high level. And then when I dive in, I have a surge of excitement. And then when I'm in the water, you just go for it. When I do distance education, I can spend more time in the pool and be able to hop out at my own pace. My name's Isaac, I'm 10 years old. My dream would be to make it to the Olympics. Well, wasn't that great? And that was a while ago. And guess what? Last night, Isaac swam in the Olympics in the heats. That's the uh, early races uh, in the 100 metre backstroke. And he came fourth in his heat. And only the top 16 swimmers get to swim in the semi-finals. And guess what? I'm pretty sure he came in to that group about number 14. So I think tonight, Isaac Cooper will be swimming at the Olympics in the 100 meter backstroke in the semi final. So all I can say is go, Isaac, go. And well, that's, that's what he looks like to now. A bit different from when he was 10 years old on that video. So go, Isaac, go for it. And it was great to see that he said on the video that when he gets up on the blocks, he uh, has a pray to God. He prays to God and just then dives in, gets an exhilarating feel, and he swims as fast as he can. And man alive, he did a great job last night in the pool. Let's hope it goes well tonight. Well, it's time to look at this month's scripture memory passage. And I've picked a ripper for you to memorize uh, to, to this month. And so let's have a good look at it. It's a very, very famous scripture passage from Book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 8. So let's say it all together. Are you ready? Oh, hang on. Before the, I do that, I better put on my green and gold for the Olympics. Ugh. There we go. Go Aussies. Let's go for our scripture. One, two. Proverbs chapter three, verses five to eight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your paths straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. So there's our scripture passage for this month. So, and I want to just highlight one major point this week that we are to trust in the Lord with all our hearts. So let's have a look at what it means to trust God. Trust. Now, you trust your mum and dad and look at this little guy here. He's even trusting his dad to catch him. I reckon that every one of you students would have jumped into your arms of your dad or your mum and trusted that your parents would catch you. And you are trusting in your parents. And trust is important. We trust in someone who is trustworthy, someone who's strong, someone who's faithful. That's like... Your parents, mom, dad, stepdad, stepmom, they're the ones who are looking after you. Your teachers are the same. Mind you, none of you have jumped into my arms and I've caught you. I, that hasn't happened. 
but I reckon that most of you would have, as a young child, trusted in your parents and, and just dived out into their arms. And, and you can trust friends. Friends can help you. Look at this guy helping this young lady up to the top of that mountain, and she's trusting him, even though it's a bit dangerous. Trust is a very important thing to have, to have someone who you can rely on, and you can trust them to think of your best and to help you. Look at this, this girl here. She's trusting her friends are throwing her up in the air and hopefully they'll catch her on the way down before she hits the ground. What goes up must come down. Okay, look at that. So trust is a strong thing. It's a strong thing. It's when you put your trust in someone you know will be doing you good and you can trust them even if it's a difficult time. So who should you trust? Should you trust just anybody? Would you trust a bank robber? No, not at all. What about your friend, your dog? You trust your dog to help you out? Well, sometimes they can be very helpful, but I'm not gonna trust my dog. Trust this clown? I don't wanna trust the clown. He's just there for a fun time and that's about it. No, I don't think I'll trust him. Trust your teddy. Now, there's so many of you who bring in your teddies to school and it's good to see. But do you trust your teddy? Is your teddy strong like that chain? Is your teddy able to catch you? Is your teddy able to take care of you? Your teddy's a good friend, but I'm not going to trust my teddy. I'm not going to trust a lot of, whole lot of teddies. No. I'll trust God. And that's what our scripture verse tells us this month. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Now, it can be difficult because I can't see God. But he is there. And look at this fella here. He's, he has to get to the other side. And he's sweating and he's worried about this problem. How will I get to the other side? How will I get my problem fixed? And here's this cartoon drawing that shows that God's there to help him to get across. God is there to help you in any problem that you have. You trust him. You can pray to him. And this fellow here, he's just trusting God. Now, God's hand doesn't come out of a cloud and catch you like that, but it's a, it's a cartoon picture to show an idea of us trusting God. So young people can trust God. Adults can trust God. Your parents can trust God. Your, your teachers can trust God. Anybody can trust God. He is faithful. He is strong. And, and he is trustworthy. We can ask him for things. And we can rely on him to get us through any problem. Look at this guy here. He's just trusting God. He's praying a bit there. But it doesn't just say a little bit. It says, trust God with all of your heart. And we've talked about the heart at other times. It's the place where inside of you, it's where you're thinking, where you have emotions, where you make decisions. And, and you can trust God with all of your heart. So we've got our friends here who are going to sing. We know them, we've seen them before, so you can shake, your, shake along and dance along and sing this song about trust, trusting God. Here they are, we've seen them before. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding.
Hey, how good was that? I hope you got a little bit warmer, jumping up and down and enjoying those movements as we learn about trusting the Lord with, with all your heart. And lean not on your own understanding. Proverbs, Proverbs 3, 5 and 6. Okay, well, it's time for us to trust God. Here's a girl, she's able to be praying to God and just trusting in Him. Here's a young fellow, he can trust the Lord. Here's a whole bunch of young people, they can trust the Lord. Anybody can trust the Lord. He's always there and He's there for you to connect with. So just trust in God. That's our message. That's part of the scripture that we're memorizing this month. So I really want you to take it to heart and think a lot about it and to do that. But now guess what? It's time. It's time for you to get into your work. And that's a good thing. Now I know you can work well at home as well as in class because you know what I know you can work well at home because you do homework so just because it's locked down and it's learning at home or it could be learning in the special class I want you to work hard and learn well listen to your parents listen to your teachers and pretty soon you'll be back at school normal but for me, it's bye-bye for now. Have a great week. See ya.